Hello again, YouTubes. This is BD Bomb, and welcome back to another episode of Scribble Lots Unlimited. Yay! I know I recorded this last time, but uh, I figured I'd play another episode of this because uh, this game is awesome. And also, since I didn't get to record yesterday because it was America's birthday. Um, I'll upload two videos today, so if you don't like Scribble Knots Unlimited, then just wait a little bit if this was just released. Uh, full stop diner. Alright, let's do it! We completed this subway thing last time as well, so that's pretty good. I want to complete a, a level an episode. Welcome to Full Stop Diner! Cool. Uh, there's a monster, there's a bull dude. Ah, and there I am, making the grand entrance. So let's see, who needs help? This guy and this chair sets? Come closer and start me. Oh, okay. All right, feed the hungry guests. Oh, sure thing. Sounds like fun. Dinner service, start. Oh gosh, I spit all over my monitor. What's wrong with me? <laughs> this restaurant has very different customers. Feed the schoolboy something to help him grow. Obviously milk, that's easy. Um, let's give him, let's give him chocolate milk. Chocolate milk tastes a lot better than regular milk in my opinion. In my humble opinion, did you know Nesquik started off with, uh... Mm. Is that good? Yeah! <laughs> it worked! Uh, this isn't what I wanted, but it's so good, I can't stop eating. I'm sorry. Should I have given you chicken? Oh, my bad. Okay! What? <laughs> what? What did you want? The vampire wants to try something new. Give him something to quench his thirst. Alright, well, you know, I might as well give him fruit punch. Anyways, did you know that Nesquik started off with only strawberry milk? I always thought they were a chocolate milk company. Uh, fruit punch. I hope it's not a punching fruit. I really- fruity punch. Does that work? Oh, there you go. Here, is that good? Will it work? Oh! Yeah, it worked! Huzzah! That was delicious. Thanks for showing me a friendlier alternative. You're welcome. I'm pretty sure you're not a vampire if you could drink that, though. This robot is here for an upgrade. Feed it something a robot might eat. Well, obviously, we want to feed him some nitro. Can I- can I- can I give this to him? Can he eat? <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Eat it! Oh, he ate the blood- Oh my gosh! She turned into human- Oh, that's- that's- that's scary. Real food has helped me upgrade it to a cyborg. <laughs> I'm pretty sure nitrous oxide isn't real food, but okay. <laughs> Who's next? I am apparently the best waiter and chef ever. The cannibal has shown up for- Oh no! I had something on the cannibal to dine on. Oh gosh. Uh, let's see. I don't want to- You know, I don't want to give him real human food. Let's give him a, a, a healthy alternative. So I actually read this article on someone who had actually scheduled the secret meeting to eat human flesh from a cannibal tribe um, just to see what it tasted like because everyone said it tasted like chicken when it doesn't obviously there's a steam message I didn't read it sorry uh, <laughs> anyways he said the closest thing that we tasted like was a veil uh, which is baby deer pretty disturbing but uh, let's see veil meat uh, vein veiny venal vile valid vapid Vast vegan. Hey, all right, that works. Let's see. I guess that, that's it. Uh, is it good? Are you? Oh, hey, you turned into a hippie. Yeah, maybe greens aren't that bad after all. Looks like I'm turning over a new leaf. <laughs> well, I guess that works too. That's cool. You turned from a cannibal to being a vegan. That's pretty crazy. Or maybe a vegetarian. Who knows? I mean, that kind of a switch is just. That's pretty intense. Good job on him. I'm sure you could quit smoking cold turkey if you needed to. <laughs> yeah! 15 starites. It's quite a bit of starites. I'm sure you can power at least like a car with that amount of energy. Alright, let's see. What are these guys up to? Let's scroll in a little bit. Ah, there we go. You! I'm so bored. Give me something to entertain myself. What about you? Uh, oh, just girlfriend. Generic girlfriend. Alright, something to entertain yourself. Well, you should really care about your lady friend, because you guys are assumingly on a date at a, some sort of restaurant or house or something. You should, like, not entertain yourself, but you should entertain her as well. Uh, let's see. What can entertain both of them? Ah! I know! I'll hire a clown. Everyone loves super freaking scary clowns, right? Yeah! It worked! Oh no! I tried to entertain both of you, poor lady. I wish you would give me something to make me feel better, dude. You are a selfish jerk. You don't even deserve the clown anymore. Just laugh at your own selfishness. 
Let's see. Uh, I wish you'd give me something to make you feel better. Well, since this is obviously a horrible materialistic relationship that is only derived off of the joy that you receive from the other person, um, we'll give you some flowers, cause, you know, that'll make things better, right? Go for it. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sure you guys will not break up within the next week. Ant, do you have anything? Oh no, it's a cockroach. Ew! Frickin' hate cockroaches. Fly, this is not a frickin' sanitary restaurant. Wait, why does that oven need help? Oh, I guess because it's on fire. Ow! It hurt me. Help, the oven is on fire. Well, that's pretty easy. Um, well, you know, we could get a fireman, we get some water. That's all man standard stuff to take care of fire. What we actually have to do is fight fire with fire, and that'll make the fire go away. Perfect flawless logic here, so we'll get a, a flamethrower. I think that'll help. Alright, let's see. Uh, burn. Okay, obviously not working this fire everywhere. Alright, that didn't help at all. Why did I think that would help in the slightest? Nice catch, by the way. Alright, let's just get a, a some, some fireman. Yeah! Alright, take care of it, dude. Mm. Huzzah! Awesome! Oh, it's a burnt extra crit- EW! What the heck? Why are you freaking here? Oh my god, you're freaking disgusting! Ah! <laughs> my entomophobia is freaking out. Give the chef ingredients to make meals for each customer. I am not going to do that! You are running an unsanitary establishment. The food that I gave to all those people, they're gonna get sick. Because Chef Ramsey would not be happy with you. Give ingredients to the chef to make different dishes. Begin by adding three components. Are they not going to acknowledge the bugs that were everywhere? <laughs> okay. Alright, well, he's going to make a pizza. So, um, what exactly was it? Just give him ingredients? Well, flour. I think that would be the first thing that you would want. Here we go. Yeah! Cool. This will help create the pizza crust, for sure. And then you need some, well, are you going to make it from scratch or are you going to go to the store and buy some pizza sauce and stuff? I think making it from scratch is the best because using pasta sauce in your pizzas, is, it's it's good, but it's not as good as just making tomato sauce. So we'll give him some tomatoes, or tomato, sorry, can't do plural. There you go. Put it in. Yeah. This will make the sauce. And then obviously we need, since we're making it from the bare scratch, we need a cow. So, <laughs> for the cheese. Well, I guess not. That'll just serve as inspiration. <laughs> I'll give him some, uh, sharp cheddar cheese. I like sharp cheddar. Well, I actually like, uh, medium cheddar. So we'll go with, uh, some medium cheddar. Here you go. Woo! Yeah! Perfect! We're, make we're making a really good, specific pizza. Cheese is a standard on most pizzas. Uh, the pizza now needs a secret ingredient. Use the notepad to add that something special. Okay. Alright, well, something special. Secret ingredient. What do we need? We need, well, I know a lot of fast food droids use cardboard as meat filler. Uh, sawdust is also good. I know the, uh, the stickers on fruits is actually FDA classifies that as food. Um, <laughs> so we could use any of those to make our production cheaper, but we need something to make it good. So my personal favorite spices are cumin and coriander. So let's, uh, coriander is my preferred they have it! <laughs> That's awesome! Alright, do it, dude! Heck yeah! I hey, why did you spit the cori- Oh, I guess just to add the sort of aromic value to the pizza. Pizza looks delicious! And I love coriander. Do you don't eat the cow! Oh my god, he ate the cow! <laughs> Gosh dang it, scribble knots! Gosh dang it, that cow was the chef's pet! I gave it to him! Man, that cow costs a lot of money. Now we will pick a phoenix for the witch. Bill, you can't eat a phoenix. It's a magical bird. Add ingredients to make this magical bird. Okay. Well, you know, I guess uh, witches eat some weird stuff. So obviously we need some fire. That's obvious. <laughs> That's weird. I've never seen someone use fire in that way. This will add a fire. It can put it to the phoenix. Then you need some bird droppings uh, for the added weirdness of the uh, bird dorking, drawing, dressing, bird dressing. Bad dressing. <laughs> sure. No? Okay. Let's, let's, uh, a pelican. 
More like pelicans. Ah, oh, that was a horrible, horrible pun. Uh, this will add some Phenesis Phoenix, and then what else? You need some sort of magic, so we'll get a wizard- No! We'll make it a cannibal! Uh, <laughs> so, we need a witch. There you go. <laughs> yes! It worked! She will be cannibal! This will be a good source of magical power. Is that it? Is that- Oh god! God! There it is! Hi, Phoenix! We baked a Phoenix! That, though it still looks a little bit raw. Really? I think it's kind of on fire. Oh, there we go. No, oh, yeah, it seems pretty good. It looks like these things have a way of working themselves out. Yeah, because it catches on fire. Oh, I get it raw because it was still alive. Our last customer wants us to bake a motorcycle. Oh, come. Why are you guys eating some weird stuff? Like the first guy just wanted a pizza, but then he ate the whole cow with it. You wanted a phoenix, which is pretty weird. And now you're going to eat a motorcycle? Gosh, this guy's a chef, not a mechanic. Uh, anyways, our last customer wants us to bake a motorcycle. We <laughs> place three ingredients into the oven to create one. Definitely how things work. So we need a motor. So we'll have a, a V8 motor. Well, a really good uh, vapid motor. I don't know what vapid means, but that'll do. <laughs> we got his power source to the bike. We need some sort of wheel mechanic. Um, what creative thing can we use for a wheel? Uh... Uh, uh, yeah, so creative, huzzah! <laughs> this all the motorcycle roll. Uh, we need some handlebars. Uh, handle. There you go. Ooh, that's a weird looking handle, but it works, I think. Yeah! The base for the motorcycle frame. Okay, what else? Is that it? Yeah, it worked, huzzah! The bike looks too good to give away. See ya! Wait a minute, chef! No, don't do it! Ah, I have an idea. Use a notepad. Add adjective. Um, broken, dead. <laughs> I broke your motorcycle, you scrub. You thief. Those were the restaurant's money. They used that to freaking pay for ingredients for you to cook motorcycles. And you were gonna steal it? No, I, I break your motorcycle. <laughs> That was some quick thinking on my part. Good job! Check on Lily at the farm to unlock new levels. Alright, let's go to Lily and see. We already have a lot of levels unlocked, but oh my gosh, she's very stony. Uh, man, let's just hope she doesn't take up flying planes because then maybe she could be a stone temple pilot. Ahoy. Ha ha! That was horrible. I am so sorry. Oh no, the pirate ship! Oh no! <laughs> it's pirate exploded. Wait, aren't you gonna help fix the lay? It seems like these starites are actually making things kind of worse because every time I give them to her, she gets more stone-like. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but uh, it doesn't seem to be very helpful. Let's see, three out of ten um, things. Uh, what else? We have check, 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 check. I think this is definitely the one we were on. All right, so we'll do a little bit more of this. This is a bit longer of it. Wait, this isn't where we were. Oh, we must have completed the last thing then. Okay, so I guess we'll finish hyphen heights because I do remember playing some of this. Oh god, why am I so slow? Oh no! Ah! What the heck is up with me? What, what's, what's add adjective? Undead? Why did- oh, oh my gosh. I, I got bitten by the zombie old man that si- I don't even remember making a zombie old man. What? What? Let's get rid of that. That's- Come on, there's no need for that. No, no! What is up with the zombie apocalypse? Oh my god, no! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna add an adjective to you. Uh let's see, let's see harmless. There, now you won't hurt the old lady or anything like that, right? Oh no! Everyone's becoming zombies! What's happening? Okay, well I guess we'll have to figure out what's happening on the next episode because Because I'm gonna have to kill. <laughs> Freaking scribble knots, man. So much randomness. All right, but uh, thank you very, very much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to continue this series, because I know it's been a while since I've recorded it. It's a lot of fun, though. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching again, and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.